So you guys chose Penumbra, so that's the game that I'm gonna play tonight. Terrifying. I'll make sure I'm by myself and all that and it's nighttime, but I hate you guys. And I watched the trailer and there are bugs. I love bugs when they're outside. I don't love bugs when they're in my space. Did you know that spiders don't count as bugs? Bug is a slang term for insects and spiders are not insects because of the number of legs they have and because they don't have an exoskeleton. Thanks, second grade! So with all of the smartphones being touted as gaming platforms, Nintendo was finally asked how they were feeling about it. Nintendo, when are you gonna make a smartphone slash gaming console? Never. <laughs> Nintendo, much to the appreciation of fans, has said that they have no interest in making a phone slash gaming console, ever. Although the DS is starting to get a little out of control. Just saying. They don't feel like they need to resort to people having to buy a phone in order to get their product. They feel like people are going to keep coming back for their content. I can get behind that. Also, I don't think that many people are gonna be all that interested in buying a handheld and a contract for a phone at the same time. The Minecraft Halloween update that I mentioned in a previous episode is finally up. Some of the stuff won't be up until today, which is the 31st. So if you went on yesterday and you were like, oh, there's all this cool stuff, there might be more cool stuff now. Unfortunately, this Halloween update is also including the torches burning out and not lasting forever anymore, which is so sad. So you're gonna need to get you some lanterns or trap some lava and light your place up with lava. I didn't come up with that. My friend did that. I'm not that smart. I am gonna be really sad when I don't have torches though. That's gonna suck. The game Demon Souls has done really well on the PS3, and so everybody's asking, is there going to be a sequel? A sequel is definitely in the works, and Sony is trying to kind of push it along a bit faster because it was such a success. They've said that they really do plan on making one, but at this point they're going to say, no, we're not making a sequel because they don't want people to get too amped up about it and then have it never happen, which happens all the time. Fair enough. Also, good for them for not rushing a sequel. I feel like that's when everything kind of starts to go wrong. It's funny because it sounds like, from, from the comments that I've read on this, it sounds like the fans are really torn on whether or not they even want a sequel. People, a lot of the time, when they hear about a sequel, they start to hop on the bandwagon of, no, the first one was great, just leave it alone, you don't need to add anything. I don't feel one way or the other about this because I never played Demon's Souls. I want to, I just don't have a PS3. But I want one someday. Someday. So the red shirt guy from BlizzCon, who is like my hero, for those of you who don't know about him, he asked the lore panel a question that they basically couldn't answer. And so he's become like a legend on the internet now. Since then, everyone has either been saluting him or mocking him, of course, in standard internet fashion. Shockingly, he has responded to the internet's reaction to him with his own video. Hello, I am what the internet has dubbed the red shirt guy. I'll link you to both videos, but he has taken the time to explain himself in a pretty upfront way, like in a cool way. A lot of people have been knocking on Metzen, who is kind of the chief story spinner for Blizzard. He's the one that was just kind of baffled by Red Shirt Guy. Now, to be fair, the question was obscure and he's got his mind wrapped around a bunch of different universes at this point. Should he have been able to answer the question? Probably. Should we knock him because he couldn't? Eh, he's human, you know. I'm just glad that he didn't come up with an answer that made no sense. Like, yeah, he flew away. So it's Halloween, some of you have probably been celebrating it since Friday or even Thursday. Some of you were born on Halloween, some of you have an anniversary on Halloween. Awesome, whatever you're celebrating, I hope that it's been fun and safe and whatnot. Either way, my costume today is makeup. Because I didn't want to put too much effort into it. I could always put back on the bat, cat, elephant, chobit ears. But that also feels like a lot of work. Thanks for watching. I hope that you're having a great day. Have fun. Be safe. I will talk to you guys again on Tuesday. And you're awesome. Bye!